Mello TV Sports gets out of the block with some track and field news as a one to finish marked the first win for Jamaican high school athletes at the Penn Relays at Penn State today. Homo Technicals' Cedrica Williams took the gold after she posted a season's best 54 meters to capture the championship of America high school discus. Williams, the IWF World Under 22nd ranked athlete in the event and who won at the Carifta Games, recorded her winning mark on her fourth attempt after falling on her first throw. Victoria Christie of Camperdown High threw 44.88 on her sixth and final attempt to complete a Jamaican 1 2 finish. Defending champions Edwin Allen High School and Homewood Technical are through to tomorrow's finals of the Girls High School Championship of America. 4x800 meter relay after finishing second and first respectively in the preliminary round of the event. Edwin Allen, the first Jamaican team in action, finished second in a time of 9 minutes, 13.89 seconds after leaning for majority of the race as Union Catholic out of New Jersey won in 9 minutes, 13.08 seconds. Competing in the second heat, the quartet of Cindy Rose, Jodian Mitchell, Samantha Price and Yassin Peart led from start to finish to win in 9 minutes 23.48 seconds ahead of William Penn Charter of Pennsylvania second in 9 minutes 26.88. Cherokee out of New Jersey won Heat 3 in 9 minutes 21.19, while Cuthburdon of North Carolina won Heat 4 in 9 minutes 19.75 seconds. Meanwhile, for the first time in 20 years, thousands of fans inside the Franklin Field Stadium in Philadelphia will not get a chance to witness the very popular series of USA versus World Relays, which usually takes place on Saturday afternoon at the weekend-long carnival. On to football news now, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has agreed to a two-year contract extension, committing him to the club till at least 2026. Klopp, who's 54, joined the Reds in 2015, but suggested in March that he would follow through with a plan to take a break from the game when his deal ended in 2024. But the club have signed Klopp and his staff to longer deals at a time where the team are chasing a quadruple title race. He said he was delighted, humbled, blessed, privileged, and excited. Klopp added when the owners brought the possibility of renewal to him, he asked himself the question, is he amused over publicity? Does he have the energy and vibe to give himself again to this amazing place that requires from the person in the manager's office? He said, and I quote, I didn't need too long to answer the truth. The answer was very simple. I'm in love with this club and I feel fine, end quote. Irreplaceable Klopp as much of a guarantee of a success as it gets. Klopp's quote refers to an adapted version of the Beatles song, I Feel Fine, that Liverpool fans have taken to chanting in support of him in recent weeks. His assistant managers, Pep Lunders and Peter Quaretz, have also signed extension deals. A move Klopp said was massive for him in order to continue the continuity of a project together. Still on football, Barcelona will play their home games during the 2023-2024 season at the Olympic Stadium in the city with work due to begin on revamping Camp Nou this summer. Barca members approved a 1.5 billion euro funding package to regenerate the club's aging 99,354-seater stadium and the surrounding area in a referendum last December. A license has now been granted by the local council to begin the development with work set to start in June when the existing campaign ends. It will take four years for the renovation to be carried out. President Juan Laporta said most of the construction can be carried out alongside sporting activities, but the club will have to vacate their home one season in 2023 to 2024. The Olympic Stadium ground was previously home to Barca's rivals Espanyol, who played there between 1997 and 2009, and was also where Lionel Messi made his competitive debut for the Balagrana. It was originally built in 1927, but was renovated in 1989 to be used for the 1992 Olympic Games, which took place in Barcelona and held a capacity of 60,713. 
We bowl over to Cricket News now. Ben Stokes has been named as England's test captain, taking over from Joe Root. All-rounder Stokes has scored 5,061 runs and has taken 174 wickets in 79 tests and has been the vice-captain across two spells since 2017. Bata Root stepped down after five years in charge earlier this month, having led England in a record 64 tests. Stokes' first test as permanent England captain will be against world champions New Zealand at Lords on June 2. He previously captained England in the first test defeat by West Indies in 2020 when Root missed the match to attend the birth of his second child. Stokes was appointed captain by new managing director of England's men cricket Rob Key in his first major act in the role. Stokes also led the one-day international side to a 3-0 series victory over Pakistan last summer after a COVID outbreak forced England to name an entirely new team. He subsequently took a break from cricket in July for his mental well-being and to allow a finger injury to heal, but returned to the England squad for the Ashes series. Following England's tour of the West Indies in March, Stokes has been suffering pain in his left knee, but is hoping to make a return for county side Durham in May. Former Kent and England batter Key took over as managing director earlier this month, replacing Andrew Strauss, who had stepped in on an interim basis following the sacking of Ashley Giles in February. England are also in the process of filling their head coach vacancy after Chris Silverwood was sacked in February following the 4-0 Ashes defeat by Australia in the winter. England plan to appoint separate coaches for the test and white ball sides, a change to the recent setup. England are winless in nine tests and have only won one in their past 17 matches. NBA superstar Stephen Curry and Giannis Antetokounmpo demonstrated their talents once again by leading their respective teams to serious clinching playoff wins last night. Curry scored 30 points in his first start of the playoffs as the Golden State Warriors earned their place in the Western Conference semifinals. The Warriors won 102-98 against the Denver Nuggets, securing a 4-1 series win. Curry, who has been recovering from a foot injury, made five three-pointers, five rebounds, and five assists, setting up Western Conference clash with the Minnesota Timberwolves or the Memphis Grizzlies. Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 33 points as Milwaukee Bucks defeated the Chicago Bulls. The Bucks earned a 116-100 win over the visiting Bulls to reach the Eastern Conference semifinals where they will play the Boston Celtics. Antetokounmpo, a two-time MVP, eclipsed the 30-point mark for the third time in the last four games as the Bucks overcame the Bulls. The victory, which is Milwaukee's first postseason series win over the Bulls since 1985, sealed a 4-1 win in the best of seven series. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. I'm Christopher Scott. Do remember, stay safe and pleasant viewing.